looking at one of the focus for this week, which has to do with the demise of the late president, John Evans Atamils, marking one year of his death. And the late Professor Atamils has been described as a man who eschewed political vendetta during his term as president. He rather was inspired by all his actions, um, which uh, was done by God as demonstrated in his utterances. Speaking at the first time in a series of his memorial lectures, Professor Kwame Nahoy commended him for his extreme tolerance during his lifetime. Hearing about Professor Atamil, who was a modest man, maybe, a very simple man, maybe, but a man of very many dimensions, is indeed a treat for us, is indeed a profoundly learning experience. Because Professor Mills wasn't just a family member. He was an academic. He was a sportsman. He was, after all, a politician. And in many ways, a philanthropist. One of the things that I found out yesterday was that Professor Mills never got angry. Which is true. But from my dimension, let me say, he sometimes got very exasperated. The big lesson that I learned from Professor Mills as a result of this event was that, quote, God is in control. God is in control was his mantra. Nyami knows him, God installs kings. God is in the castle where his constant reference. So much so that this also became a point of criticism of his leadership style. But it was obvious that the critics on this tour had not understood him. Given the ordinariness of his upbringing, the circumstances of his involvement in politics, his ability to serve successfully as vice president, and the fact that he was only third time lucky in his bid to become president of Ghana, he was convinced that there was a mystical force driving his destiny. And who else could this mystical force be but God? During Professor Mills' tenure as vice president, the commercial court was established. In his death, it is flourishing. Here was an intellectual with a vision. <laughs> 